Hi everyone, welcome to Greekish Outdoors. Today we are asking the question, are all slugs made equal? So, stick around. So today we're going to be testing out a variety of different 0.22 or 5.5 millimeter slugs in my brake barrel gas piston air rifle. We're going to be checking things like power um, that they produce out of the rifle, the speed they travel at, we're going to look at their uh, penetration in ballistics gel and also their accuracy. In the end I'll give you a sum up of uh, which pellet is best and are slugs useful or even usable in a 0.22 brake barrel rifle. First, what is a slug? You can see on the picture now the comparison between a slug and a pellet. Slugs are supposed to be more resistant to wind, have a higher ballistic coefficient and give consistent accuracy on longer range shooting. Versus a pellet which is normally cheaper than a slug, they've got good accuracy on a short range and firing almost every gun. So we're going to be looking at some popular slugs which are available right now on the market. So as you can see in the table, these are some of the slugs we're going to be testing out. They are some of the most popular ones on the market right now, including the Apollo slug, which is 21 grains, uh, 8 euros 40 for 250. The H&N slug, also a 21 grain uh, bullet which is 15 euros 80 for 200 then we have the G max number one slug 22 grains and 1090 for 150 we have the FX hybrid slug 22 grains and 20 euros 90 for 100 then we move up to the slightly heavier pellets with the JSB knockout slug 25.39 grains and 1190 for 200 we have the spot-on or spot-on solid bullet, 26 grains and 690 for 175. We then move up to the heaviest pellets that I'm going to use today. Apollo destroyer bullet, 28 grains, 4 euros 40 for 100. And the Norica destroyer copper slug, which is also 28 grains and is 5 euros 90 for 150. There are other manufacturers, of course, including Zan projectiles and also the NSA, uh, which also make their own slugs. The best value slug today is the Apollo slug, coming in at 3.36 cents per slug. The most expensive one by quite a way is the FX hybrid slug, which works out at just shy of 21 cents per slug. Right, next, let's check their power and speed out of the barrel of my Crossman Summit Ranger NP2. Results from the chronograph show that the three lightest pellets, the Apollo Slug, H&N Slug and G-Max number one slug, were also the fastest out of the barrel with velocities ranging from 169 to 183 meters per second the slowest pellet today was the spot-on solid slug at 143 meters per second and the copper coating on the norica destroyers made those a little bit faster than the equivalent lead slug the Apollo Destroyer. As far as power, the three fastest slugs were also produced the most power out of the barrel. The Norica Destroyer slipped into joint third place due to the fact that its speed was still pretty good, even though it was one of the heaviest slugs we used. Surprisingly, the FX hybrid slugs performed the worst as far as power due to the fact that even though they were one of the lighter pellets, the same as the G-Max Slug, they uh, weren't going particularly fast out of the barrel and the power output in the end was only 12.2 foot-pounds compared to the highest power output of the H&N Slug, 
which was 16.8 foot pounds. Let's check out each of these slugs in ballistics gel. Let's see if they penetrate the 22 centimeters of ballistics gel I've made and also what damage they do when they pass through. So here we have our ballistics gel. If you measure it up, we can see that it is 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters. Unfortunately, none of the pellets stayed in the gel. They all made it through. So as you saw from the gel, and as you can see in the figures in the table here, all the slugs made it through the full 220 millimeters or 22 centimeters of ballistics gel. However, there was a variation in the amount of damage they caused in the gel. Although probably obvious, the ones uh, which were the heaviest caused the most damage. So that included the Norica Destroyer Copper, the Apollo Destroyer, and the Spot-On Solid Slugs. They caused the most significant damage, as you can now see in this picture of the gel. The higher damage is likely due to the slugs tumbling as they pass through the ballistics gel. Right, let's take these slugs down to the target range and see how accurate they are. So here you can see the results from the accuracy testing. The most accurate pellet with regards to spread between the slugs that hit the target was the Norica Destroyer copper slugs. It also had the most number of shots actually on the human shaped target as well, followed by the Apollo slug. And uh, in third place with the spread was the spot on solid slug number of shots on target was equal third place between the JSB, Spot On and Apollo Destroyer Bullet, which all had um, three shots on target. The worst two pellets were the G-Max number one slug and the FX hybrid slugs, which had an accuracy or spread of 77 and 74 millimeters respectively, and both only got one slug on target. I did practice with all the slugs 
before doing the accuracy test and they all seem to pull a little bit high even after i adjusted my iron sights it was still a struggle to get them in a tight grouping possibly due to the fact that there wasn't enough power in my air rifle to make these slugs super effective In these images you can see the deformation of all the slugs which I collected after the accuracy testing. All these slugs hit the metal at the back of the target and all deformed very nicely. This would cause a lot of damage to your target of choice. The Apollo slugs, these have a nice shine on. A bit like the GSBs, they feel like they've got a nice lubrication on them. Again, like with the GSBs, the quality is very, very good. No damage to any of the pellets, and they're very clean. The H&N slugs, they're a very dull colour. There feels to be a lot of powder on the outside of these slugs. Their weight is pretty consistent though, and uh, there is hardly any damage to any of the slugs either. Again, a good quality pellet, but a bit dull. So the G-Max number one. The packaging is you know, pretty basic. Mine arrive with a slight ding in it, but that happens. The pellets themselves are all pretty much the same weight. Some have a few little dints and scratches on, but nothing major. They feel like they have some sort of a very minor lubrication on them. But overall, pretty good quality. FX Hybrid, they come in a very different case. Laid out like so. A little bit of dust on the surface here. But as you can see, they are a very good press. As you'd expect from the price of these, they're pretty consistent. The weight is consistent. Hardly any damage at all on any of them. I think being in this sort of box really helps that. So yeah, very good quality slug there. The JSB knockouts. These are very well made pellets. They definitely have a slippery lubricant on them to help ease the, the slug out of the barrel. I see, I've been through many of them and I've not seen really any defects. The weight is pretty standard. So a very good quality slug there the spot on or spot on they've got a very dull finish they're very slightly different again to the other pellets in this shape a bit more of a dome no hollow point on these they're very consistent no dinks or scratches really on here they're pretty clean there's not a lot of dust either good quality slug the Apollo Destroyers, very shiny, like they've got a lubricant on the side. A few in here though, unlike the other ones, a few, I'm not sure if you can see that. Have a few little dings on the ends. So, not a bad quality, not quite as good as the other ones. Again, here we have another one. You see the end is not perfect. But overall, pretty consistent. Right, so the Norica Destroyers. For a cheap pellet, the quality is excellent. Again, no dust in here, no copper or lead dust that I can see. Right, so here you can see all these slugs rankings and the different categories that we tested them in. I then gave points to each slug based on the place in each test. So if the slug came first, it would get eight points. If it came in eighth place, it would get one point. I totaled them up and here's the result. In first place is the Apollo Slug with 50 points. In second place is the Norica Destroyer Copper Slugs with 48 points. And in third place was the H&N Slug HP with 42 points. There's not really much in the, the last place. The FX Hybrid and the G-Max number one uh, were a little bit disappointing in their results. 
Of course, these results are based on my gun, which is probably a little bit underpowered for testing out slugs, but it's what I've got to hand. I, I wanted to see if you could actually use a brake barrel air rifle to fire these slugs and would they still be effective? And I think we've shown today that a, a few of them really would be. So, are all slugs made equal? I think we answered that today. There is definitely some variety, um, whether that be due to weight, shape, or materials. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help us out. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care, much love. See you next time.